So first of all, you should go to python.org, which is the official website of Python, and then you should click on this downloads, and then a page like this will be open. So you should scroll down, and here you can see looking for a specific release. And here, as you can see, the latest version of Python among these versions is 3.10.7. So you should click on it. And then a page like this will be open. So you should scroll down. And here you can see different files. So because I have a 64-bit Windows, so I need to install this file. So I click on this file in order to download it. And you can see it is downloading the file. So as you can see, here is the file which we have downloaded. So I should right click on it and then I should click on run as administrator. And in this step, I should click on this add Python 3.10 to path, which is a very, very important step. So remember to check this one and I want to customize the installation. And here I should press next and I want to choose another install location and remember that the install location of python is very important because there is a file called interpreter in this path which you are going to specify which is a very very important file so you need to know the install location so for example suppose that i want to install my python in this path in my computer so this is a very important path so remember to copy this path because we need it later and then press on install and you should wait for the installation process. So as you can see, the setup was successful. So I press close. And now in order to verify that we have installed Python correctly, in the start of Windows, you should simply search for IDLE. Remember that it has L, so it is IDLE, not IDE. So it is IDLE. So click on it. And here we can see here is the Python IDLE, so you can start coding. So for example, I want to print something. I want to print, for example, hello. And I press enter, and you can see here is the result. And also I can simply type five times eight and etc. So that's it. And also, for example, if you want to change the font size, we should go to options, configure IDLE. And for example, I want to change the font size to 14, or let's say, for example, 10. And I should press OK. So you can see here's the Python IDLE. So this space is called the shell space. So as you can see, this is the shell of IDLE, but also you can click on file and then new file. And here you can start coding. So you can see here is the code which I have typed here. And then I should save this Python file. So I should click on file and then save. And for example, I want to name my code, code01, and I should press save. So you can see here is uh, the path of my file, which I have saved. So now in order to run this file, I should click on run and run module. And you can see here is the result. So let's close uh, these. And now in order to open the command window, so you should press uh, the Windows and R key on your keyboard. And here you can see this window. Here you should simply type CMD, it stands for command, and you should press OK. And here is the command window. So here you can simply type Python space dash dash version. And here you can see the Python version which we have installed. So now once again, I simply type Python and I press enter. And you can see here I can start coding as well. So for let's print something, let's print five times eight. And you can see here is the result, five plus nine. And you can see here is the result. So as you can see, this is similar to Python shell. But now let's go to the installation folder. So I paste the installation folder, which I have copied in this step, which you can see on the screen. So I press OK. And here you can see here is the install location. And in this folder, you can see that there are different files. And one of them, which is very important, is this file, python.exe. And remember that if you don't see these extensions, you should go to view. And here you should check file name extensions. Because if you don't check it, you, can, you can't see these extensions. But if you check it, you can see these extensions as well. So python.exe is the Python interpreter, which is a very, very important file. For example, if you want to install PyCharm, you need to know the path of this Python interpreter. So this Python interpreter is a very, very important file. 
So here we can see a side-by-side -side comparison of PyCharm and Python IDLE. And as you can see, the auto-completion and suggestions of IDLE is very bad, but the suggestions and auto-completion of PyCharm is very good. And to my opinion, PyCharm is one of the best IDEs for Python programming language, which is my favorite. So if you want to install that correctly, you can watch this video, which is on the screen now.